Hey crafters, for today's DIY, we will be making this Rosie the Riveter wall art. I will list the items used in the link below. Let's begin with painting our pizza pan in moon yellow, and we will be doing three coats. Once we do the first coat, we will blow dry and repeat this step two other times. I'm doing three coats because I found that the color was more vibrant this way, but if you want a more washed out look, do less coats. Next, I will be cutting my Rosie the Riveter picture that I have printed in my inkjet printer. And I printed this on an 8.5 by 11 sheet. If you don't own a printer, you can always go to your local Office Depot and have them print it there. Make sure you cut close to the picture so it's nice and neat. Now we can place our picture on our pan and cut little corners that need to be cut so it fits perfectly. Moving on to our border, we will be using cobalt blue to match Rosie the Riveter's uniform. And I will be using a smaller brush for this part. Next, I will be using acrylic white and with the back of my paintbrush, I will be painting small dots all around my border. I really loved how these dots brought a pop to the final project. And once again, let's blow dry to speed up the process. Let's move to the fun part where we get to Mod Podge Rosie the Riveter to our pan. With a smaller brush, I will be doing the edges and with a larger sponge or brush, you can do the rest of the picture. We can now place our picture on our pan, but don't do what I did. Don't start from the bottom up. Start gluing from the top and work your way down and smooth the picture out as you go. With a medium brush, I will apply Mod Podge on my Rosie the Riveter's picture and I will only do a thin layer. Since I did use an inkjet printer, I did notice my blue was bleeding a little bit. So before getting to her face, I made sure to clean my brush. If your blue does bleed off a little bit, just clean it off and go over with some yellow. After this step, we are ready to add Mod Podge to the rest of the pizza pan. I chose to use the medium sized brush for this part and I'm adding Mod Podge to the entire painted area. Set aside to dry for a few hours. Now I will cut some nautical rope about 9 inches and wrap the ends with some tape so it does not come apart. I will mark the back of my pizza pan and I will glue my rope down. And it's ready to hang. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on your notifications for more DIYs. Stay crafty.